Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Power BI, this time with BMC Remedy ITSM. <clears throat> we have a live connection to Power BI which is fully HTML5 and uh, has the deepest integration with Northcraft we've seen to date as a result of the fact that we're built on uh, Microsoft. So we're going to show an example of building a, uh, a live KPI dashboard for incident management as usual, um, using Power BI, this is one of the many presentation layers that we support from Excel, uh, turning it from a spreadsheet into live reporting tool, um, Tableau, MicroStrategy, Business Objects, Power BI, etc. With the ability to use all of our metrics, KPIs, dimensions, and attributes across all those different presentation layers. Today we're going to focus on BMC Remedy ITSM. And we'll begin with some of the common KPIs that we all know and love in IT, um, such as percentage of incidents meeting SLA targets. Uh, for the KPI, and we're going to choose the KPI card widget, which is one of the special visualizations that we have available to us. Uh, it requires the value, the goal, and uh, the trend. Okay. Um, put the status on there too. Um, for the trend, we we'll want to use a date. Okay, so we'll, let's use submit date. It's pretty common with uh, Remedy. And you can use anything from a year, quarter, month, date, week, etc. We'll use month. That's probably the most common. Uh, although there's no data there, so let me go with uh, let me go with the year. There we go. Okay, so our goal is 95. We're at 95.5, so it's yellow. Okay. Um, next, we'll do. Um, you know, something a little bit different. Let's do another KPI with this time percentage um, of incidents reassigned. Uh, you goal. And for the trend, let me do date, see if that works out for us. It does. Okay, great. This is every date across time. We don't have any time filters yet, so that's one of the things we'll want to do. Um, we could also add in a slicer. Let's do that. So we're going to have all of our KPIs are linked to... Uh, the visualization that we put on this dashboard. In fact, all of the visualizations are linked together by default. So that's that's pretty interesting, um, and I'll show you how that works in just a little bit. Okay, so let's do a, a filter. Um, you know, something simple like a um, do like a priority or status filter, something like that. Um, so we're going to open up our dimensions here and go into our classification. That's one way to do it. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Answer request information. Okay, there we go. We use priority. Okay, so here are different priority uh, filters, and we can use this for visualization in just a second. And then we'll have uh, we'll add another. Let's call it heat map. This can be used for filtering too. That's what I find it really interesting. Okay, so for there we'll do something like total incidents. Just do the value. Okay, and then we'll do it by, let's call it uh, product categorization. Product name specifically, because it will be such a, a large set in the series. Um, you know, um, heat maps are great instead of a, um, a bar chart when you have a large series there here. And we do, since we have, you know, potentially thousands of products we're supporting in our IT organization, this is going to be a big one. Okay, so we've got our heat map, we've got our KPIs, and we have uh, our, our slicer slash filter. Okay, and then next we want to have the ability to look at the details of these incidents. So we'll bring in a table, okay, and then stretch it all the way across. And give ourselves plenty of room to work here. And uh, inside the table we'll want the incident number. Um, the, you know, I'm not going to put in summary, although I think that would be... Good, we're just gonna keep this data somewhat anonymous and we'll put in things like uh, operational categorization, um, status, so you can use any field you want in Remedy. Uh, this just essentially shows you how to get to the uh, Okay, now this is, next we'll see how it's all linked together, okay? So we've got our KPIs for everything. And then uh, we'll look at just people soft issues. Watch how it all adjusts. Okay, so there are the KPIs now at 87.6%. We're meeting for people soft. Now, if I want to look at just critical people soft, we'll use our filter, critical. And then, uh, bam, uh, 
only 40 percent unfortunately so that's a problem um but you can see how everything is linked together here by default which i think is very powerful this also uh is responsive so it renders uh, on your mobile device or you know, large screen, high resolution, large monitor, desktop, all resolutions very uh, in a very clean way, unlike some of the other technologies. Um, I think that's that's a that's a powerful feature of it as well. So we can create a beautiful dashboard very quickly. No ETL uh, has to be done because Northcraft has done that for you. No data warehouse that's done. No cubes to write. No universes, anything like that. All done, 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 and done. And that's what our uh, BI de development effort entails when we release our product. And of course, the maintenance plan covers the addition of additional key performance indicators as you come up with them. So uh, just in terms of the cost saving elements, that's what we provide. Hope you enjoyed this short demonstration of Power BI and let us know if you have any questions through our website via the contact us section. Thank you for your time.